If you want the Raiders to trade up into the top three, smash that like button. Why? The video coming up here on the Raiders Report is from a NFL insider, and based on what he says, sounds like the Raiders are trying to trade up into the top three. I'll tell you who I believe they're going to end up taking in the NFL draft. Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Report, and today's show is presented by Manscaped. It's March, and I don't know about you, I try to get lucky in the month of March. Maybe I try to get lucky every month, but thanks to our good, good friends here at Manscaped, they help me, fingers crossed, every single day. If you want to get started for the best male grooming products out there, manscaped.com, code Raiders, if you got the inside joke. Let me know down below. That way I know you're a real one. So coming up here on the Raiders report, according to Ian Rappaport, the Raiders are interested in trading up into the top three picks. At the top three picks, we know it's the Chicago Bears, the Washington Commanders, and the New England Patriots. When I heard this news drop, not that I was really surprised, and I put it out there on Twitter. If you don't follow me, I'm at MitchellRen365. And I said, essentially, like, if you don't know that the Raiders are interested in a top three pick, then you... Might want to check your pulse out a little bit. I get it, though. When it comes from a guy like Rap, people listen a little bit more. And I know the Raiders are interested in the top three pick. You probably know that the Raiders are interested in the top three pick. But it just goes to show that, yet again, there are more and more reports out there that indicate Antonio Pierce, Tom Telesco, are trying to get a franchise QB that they want to be aggressive. Now, it's not a secret that they want to move up. I believe every single person and their brother knows that the Raiders want to go up. That doesn't mean that it's going to happen, right? Because if those three teams who all need a quarterback want to draft one, then the Raiders aren't going to trade up for a pick. However, also teams that were linked in this Ian Rappaport report, which I just think sounds weird, were the New York Giants, the Minnesota Vikings, and then the Las Vegas Raiders. So in the original report, which Rap Sheet did not tweet this out. He said it when he was on television. So if you're looking for a tweet, it's not going to be there. He said that the Giants, Vikings, and Raiders are all interested, and based on what he's heard, are trying to trade up into the top three. And let's face it, like there's going to be multiple teams out there that try to move up for a quarterback, whether it's Drake May, Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams. All these teams are looking to get a difference maker at that position. If you guys want to make a difference here, believe it or not, the more subs we get, the crazier shit that we can do on this show. And if you want to have more draft videos around the silver and black, I got you covered here. We're going to be dropping a lot, a lot of mock drafts. Also, the closer and closer we get to the 2024 NFL draft. And speaking of it, we'll be live for round one, round two, round three. Every single pick, we will get the picks here before they're on television. Actually, there's at times, we're like three, four picks ahead of what you see on TV. So if you want to party here with the Raiders report, hit that subscribe button and tune into our draft coverage because it's lit. All right, so here to me are the teams that... I believe really need a quarterback that I'll just say have a chance of trading up into the top three. Like, believe me, if the Steelers went from 20 all the way up to three, it would be a just monumental type of deal. But these are teams that I would say at least have a shot to do it. And the number that you see next to them is where they end up drafting this year. So out of all these teams that need a quarterback, again, the problem is Yes, the Raiders are interested, but there is a lot of other teams out there that are interested that I believe could do the exact same thing. When you look at the consensus 2024 QB rankings, and this is solely based on what we are hearing from our chat sports team that is at the actual NFL Combine right now, Tier 1 is Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels. Tier 2 is J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix Jr., and Bo Nix. Then, I would say by himself in this Tier 3 range is Spencer Rattler. And Spencer Rattler is a very intriguing quarterback prospect because he's the one guy that I don't know if many people think that he's going to go high. If you told me, Mitch, who's like the number one surprise QB that you think could go in round one? Surprise, right? I'm, I'm talking like surprise. I think it's Spencer Rattler because, and we'll get into some of these draft notes that we have received here. People are not as high on Bo Nix. And the love for Spencer continues to go up and up. Now, if somebody were to ask me, okay, like, that's great. You just showed me the consensus rankings, but this is the Raiders report. I'm a Raiders fan. What are the Raiders quarterback rankings? To me, number one is Jaden Daniels. Like, if this team ends up trading up for the number one pick, I believe they're going to take the Heisman Trophy winner out of LSU. If the Raiders trade up into the top three, which 
I love me some Jaden Daniels, and I talk about Jaden as much as I do because I know that's AP's guy, and I believe that that's just the QB that this team's going to end up targeting. But if the Raiders were able to land on pick number three, and you can tell me that we're going to get one out of Jaden, Caleb Williams, and Drake May, I will sign up for that every single day of the week. In fact, I would rather the Raiders trade up to pick number three and have a chance at all three of those quarterbacks rather than trading all the way up to number one and taking Jaden Daniels. Like, it's just what you're going to have to give up in this year's draft, and I'll kind of talk about it here if you're watching this live, how much that's going to cost. But, like, it's going to be one of the most hefty price tags at the number one, number two, and number three pick that we have ever seen in the NFL draft. Like, I'm telling you right now, it is going to be very, and I mean very expensive, for the Raiders to have a chance to go up and trade for a quarterback. So coming up here, we're going to get into the latest NFL draft rumors that I believe each and every one of y'all need to know. Before I get into that, though, hey, man, shout out to today's sponsor, Manscaped. They've been one of our OG sponsors here on the Raiders Report, and I'm actually going to ask for a favor here. If you know anybody out there that needs some brand new manly products, if you're a woman watching the show right now and you want to get a jump start on Father's Day, you want to get a jump start on an awesome gift idea, Manscaped is here. And to make sure that they know that I sent you, and when you go to manscaped.com, use promo code Raiders, it's going to get you 20% off, and you're going to be able to get some free shipping. What I also love about the month of March is, I mean, come on, I'm trying to get lucky, you're trying to get lucky, and top of the morning to y'all, this episode, man, is brought to you by St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers. Shout out to Manscaped. This year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders in the below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your clover forest with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com, use code Raiders for 20% off and free shipping. Equipped with the dual LED spotlights, navigate your shamrock patch in peace. Worried you'll make a mess? Fear not, this wonder is waterproof. Shave by the misty moors under a waterfall or even during a rain dance. So Nation, all I ask you is this. I want to make sure that you're below the belt area where, let's face it, if you're ever wearing a kilt, maybe if I was ever to wear a kilt, it probably would be in the month of March. I want to make sure that my shamrock is absolutely shaved. And if you want to take advantage of this deal, manscaped.com, 20% off, free shipping. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description. If your shamrock is shaved and you watch this show, if somebody's clever enough to put a shamrock down in the comments, I'll know, and you'll know. Coming up, the latest NFL draft rumors that I believe that y'all need to know, because... With our team at the Combine, we're getting a lot more intel than we probably ever have here at Chat Sports, and it's kind of a humbling, very cool experience if I'm just keeping it real with y'all, like, considering where we were, you know, last year, two years, four years, five, six years ago, and now seeing where our team's at, we got six-plus guys at the Combine keeping us up to date, giving us, you know, that inside scoop that I know a lot of our viewers absolutely love. It's a really, really cool freaking thing to see that being able to go down, but I love being able to get this inside because we might not have had it in years past. So based on some of the intel that we are getting here at Chat Sports, it does sound like the Bears, Commanders, and Patriots are expected to draft a quarterback. When I say expected to draft one, that does not mean that they're going to. Like, in a world which, let's say, the Bears take Caleb Williams. What if the Commanders with Cliff Kingsbury, they're like, I only wanted, I only, and I mean I only wanted one guy. Well, what if they don't take a QB? What if the Patriots are like, well, we're really high on Drake May, and Drake May ends up going to the Commanders. My point is, just because it's what is expected, does not mean that that's going to happen. And here's the thing. In the NFL, just because it's expected, it does not happen all the time. I will say that we've been told by a source that at least six teams could move up to the number one overall pick. So just take that with a grain of salt. And Antonio Pierce wants a franchise quarterback. He wants Tom Telesco to be aggressive. He wants Telesco to go out there and try to get his due. And the silver and black are going to meet with every single quarterback, I would imagine, at the draft. However, based on just the information that I have received, here are the confirmed Raiders quarterback meetings thus far. Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nix, and Spencer Rattler. Those are your consensus top seven quarterbacks, and I believe that all seven of those guys end up going in the top three rounds come April. Other quarterback rumors here from the Combine. 
Williams is expected to go number one overall. The quarterback two is up in the air. It's a debate. It's either between Jaden Daniels or Drake May. I'm sure that there's NFL teams out there that probably like one NFL team, for example, probably has Jaden at number one. There's probably another NFL team out there that has Drake May at number one. But the consensus is Williams is expected to go. Quarterback two is up in the air. And one person told me that Michael Penix Jr. is getting very, very high praise right now. And I'm very curious to see where he ends up going. Other rumors here that we are hearing is J.J. McCarthy has the potential to go top 10. There's some teams that when they look at him, they believe he could have the career trajectory of somebody like a Justin Herbert. Bo Nix might fall out of round one. If there's one thing that I don't really want to say like I'm, I'm surprised about because I'm not. I've said it before that Bo Nix is, isn't a quarterback that deserves to get drafted in round one. There's some people right now that think that Spencer Rattler could go ahead of Bo Nix just because of, yes, Bo played well at Oregon, but based on his senior bowl performance and based on what he might do with the combine, I'm not really worried about the measurables. I'm worried about what he actually looks like throwing the football. It could really hurt him, and if Spencer goes out there and balls out, he continues to climb up draft boards. So coming up here is the latest projected trade cost to get into the top three picks. And when I do shows like this, the trades that you're about to see are all around trades that somebody has, somebody that's at the combine said, based on the conversations that I have had, this is what I am hearing. And you could talk to 100 people, and I bet you all 100 people tell you something a little bit different about what it's going to cost. But before we start, these trades are based on what the chat sports team is hearing at the combine. It is not the trade that I would do. It's not the trade that I'm saying it's going to happen. This is just based on information that was relayed to me that was relayed to them. So if the Raiders wanted to trade up to number one, because we're going, we're, we're looking at the report from Rappaport that said the Raiders are potentially interested in trading up to a top three pick. So this is the first trade. And I'm only going to show you like the team. I'll be real. Like I don't see the commanders trading out of the top three, which we'll talk about them here in a second. But if the Raiders wanted to trade up to number one, what we are hearing right now is it would be three first round picks, three second round picks, and two starting players. When I say starting caliber players, I'm talking like Devontae's name was mentioned. I said the only player that I am never going to trade is Max Crosby. But like this could be a Jacoby Myers, Malcolm Koontz. Like to trade up to number one is going to cost so freaking much. I don't think people realize how much it's going to cost. Trade up to number two. Two first round picks, two second round picks, and one starting caliber player was a, the trade that I was given in terms of the overall of how much it costs. And, you know, I think people look at Caleb Williams as being a little bit different. Plus, you get to be able to pick your style of quarterback. Here's the thing, though. Like when I look at this next trade, and I'll be real with you, I think that it costs more than what it would take for this. Like, if I'm New England and I want to go up to number three, I'm thinking it's going to cost even more. And if, if, and if, if I'm Antonio Pierce, I would actually rather give up three first-round picks. That way to keep all my second round, or that way to keep all my picks in 2025 and also keep a starting player. And the reason why I would be more interested to trade away all three of my first-round picks is because at the end of the day, if your guy's not that good or if you don't get your guy, or if your team's not good, you're not going to be around till 2026. So I would almost look at the draft picks as gravy, right? Like it's the cherry on top. However, though, when you look at how much it could potentially cost to go up into the top three to get your franchise quarterback, here's the only question that I've asked on the show, and it's at the very, very end. So I will know the real ones that made it to the end. Should the Raiders try to trade up into the top three? Like it's going to cost an arm, a leg, and maybe your shamrock on top of that. Should the Las Vegas Raiders try to trade up into the top three based off the price that I just showed you? My answer is yes. It's always going to be yes. If you watch this show all the time, you already knew my answer. The Raiders need a franchise quarterback. Antonio Pierce wants one. Mark Davis has said it's time to get aggressive. They don't want to put a Band-Aid over it. It's time to go get your guy. Quit messing around, and let's get the Raiders a franchise quarterback that they have so desperately needed for a very, very long time.